Right now, a 16-year-old's parents are planning their son's funeral. Hunter Henry was killed biking to school, and now the Port St. Lucie couple is talking to News Channel 5's Brian Enton about their struggle. Brian? Well, obviously, this is devastating for Hunter Henry's family, but what they've been through is really a lot more complicated than just sadness. Imagine first finding out you lost your son, then doctors keeping him on life support for days while crews from all over the country fly to Port St. Lucie to take his organs. <sighs> Wendy and Dan Henry are heartbroken. I miss that guy a lot. I miss him a lot. He always, from little, was just mommy's sidekick. Diagnosed four years ago with an autoimmune disease attacking her body, Hunter never left his mom's side. Mom, can I get you something to drink? Mom, do you need anything? Just come out of his room. Mom, do you need anything? It was like, <laughs> and it got to a point where I'd say, if I need something, I'll call you, because it was all the time. But last Monday, Wendy suddenly found herself at the hospital, now praying for her son. Hit by a car riding his bike to school, and just 24 hours later, passing away. With machines, doctors kept Hunter alive two more days while they searched for people who desperately need his organs. It's what Hunter wanted. His direct words were, if, if I can't help people now, Dad, I want to help them when I'm gone. gone. A letter from Tennessee. No return address, thanking us for allowing our son to give life to others. On the 5th, last week, their daughter received a kidney. The Henrys have only lived in Port St. Lucie four years, but they say this community has rallied behind them. Neighbors even put this sign up at the entrance to their neighborhood. Support from friends and knowing their son's death saved others. That's what keeps the Henrys going. That I know that he's not with us, but he lives in a lot of people. And that's what he would want. Hunter's funeral is on Friday at 2 o'clock at First United Methodist Church. That's in Port St. Lucie with burial following at White City Cemetery in Fort Pierce. Also, a memorial fund is set up at Seacoast National Bank. Hunter's parents say in six months they'll have an opportunity to meet some of the people their son saved. Brian Enton, WPTV News Channel 5.